So are the Yankees going to make a trade or not? Let's get into it. Hey guys, I hope you are having a great day today. If you love the Yankees and you're not subscribed, be sure to subscribe, especially if you want to get up to date with the latest in Yankees news or just plain old Yankees discussion. We're on the road to 12,000 subscribers. We're like 10 away at this point. So if you could help us get there, that would be amazing. And thank you to those, you know what, who are subscribed, who hit that like button, who comment, who support the channel. It means the world to me. I couldn't do it without you guys. So thank you. Listen, last night was a bad one. Right? The offense struck out 18 times. 18 times. Severino was awful. My heart breaks for the guy. My heart breaks for him. Because when he's on, he's one of the best. He's one of the best. But when he's off, holy Toledo is he off. He was so bad. I feel, listen, he knows it. We don't have to keep saying it. He thinks he's the worst pitcher in the world. Sucks that he feels that way. But when you pitch like that, how can you not feel that way? Listen, the fact of the matter is this. Yankees are three and a half games out of the wild card, okay? Three and a half. We're still in it. The Angels, who are right on your heels, are four out. And instead of selling, they went from selling to all of a sudden, oh, shoot, we're actually still in this. Let's go get some pieces to actually help this team. And that's what they're doing. They went out, got Lucas Giolito. They went out, got Gritchick, CJ Crone. They're trying to improve this team. And the Yankees so far haven't really done that. It makes you think, what, what are they doing now? Last year, to be fair to Cashman, he made four trades at the deadline. He acquired Frankie Montas and Lou Trevino. He acquired Mr. Andrew Benatendi. He acquired Scott Efros. And then he also got Mr. Harrison Bader. So during that deadline period, he went out and he made some moves. Yes, the Yankees were in a different spot than they're in now, but he still went out and made some moves. We're in it still. Whether you think we should buy or sell us neither here or there, we're in it. We're three and a half out. And imagine plugging in one or two pieces into this lineup. And listen, I totally get the point of it's not going to fix Stanton. It's not going to fix Rizzo. Do you know what? Do you know what? Then what you need to do, get those guys out of the lineup. Phantom DL stints, IL stints. Do it. Because that's what will make the team better, unfortunately. That it will. Stanton's been been doing a little better, but then he either hits a home run or just strikes out or just hits the ball really hard out of field there and he hits the ball so damn hard that it hits the fielder's glove and it bounces out. God bless. But Stanton's been a bit inconsistent. Rizzo, holy crap, he's been bad. So if you can't find a home for them, phantom IL them. Because quite frankly, they're, they're not helping the team. That sucks saying that. I would love it if they went on a tear. But it doesn't look that way with how they're playing. So are the Yankees going to make a damn trade and improve this freaking team? Are they? They're, they're three and a half out. There are a lot of people who think that they should sell. You might think so, and that's fine. But they're really, they're three and a half out. Three and a half out. They could get hot at the right time. I'm not saying they're going to, and I'm not saying that they're, they're, they, they gave me that any idea that that could even happen. But I'm just saying it could happen. They're three and a half out, people. Three and a half. So, they're going to make a move. There were reports that they were talking with the Marlins about Gleyber Torres, but Cashman wants a lot for him. Okay. There were reports that we were in on Mr. Jamer Candelario. All right. What's happened with that? Now we got a report. 
that with Randall Gritchick that we were never even in on him after hearing that we were. So what's up with that? What's up with that? Whether you don't think he, he, he's, he's, that's a good option because he's not a left-handed bat. He was hitting 300. OPS, 850. I don't even know what it is right now. Probably high eights at this point. And you're telling me you wouldn't welcome him to this team? Just because he's not a left-handed bat? It's a little stupid. Nobody on this team has an 800 OPS besides the guy who's been broken for two months. No one. We love Glaber so much. I love Glaber. We think he's great. Guys, he's got a 760 OPS. Is that great now? Is that great? Then you have Gritchick, who Yankee fans, yeah, that's, that's, that's. Garbage picking, whatever you want to say. 850 OPS, we don't have that anywhere. Anywhere with this team, it's non existent. And now he's with the Angels. Man, I don't know. Bellinger's not on the market anymore. The Cubs took him out off because they're friggin' in it too. They're three and a half. Padres are five. The Metropolitans are six and a half. I mean, they're out, but they're already selling. Could we get a Tommy Pham right-handed bat? Could we get a Yasmani Grandal? The White Sox just said, yo, Grandal, anybody can have him. We'll give him away. We'll give him away. What the White Sox just said. I, I could see us getting Grandal as a switch hitting catcher. I could see that. Whether you want him or not, I could just I could see it happening. I'm just looking at these standings. Three and a half, mod on. Three and a half. Wake up. Make some moves. Do do something. Show me that you have a pulse. Show me that you have a friggin' pulse. Do something. Because do you know what? Tampa Bay, yeah, they beat Houston last night 8-2. I get that. However, they're not playing the best baseball. And you know what? Maybe, just maybe, we could pounce on them. And what happens if we sweep them? We're in a better spot now. Go out and get some help. I still have hope. I still have hope in this team. And yes, you need production out of Rizzo and Stanton, but like I said earlier, friggin' Phantom IL, both of them. Activate Floreal. Do something. You have Bowers, put him at first base. Natural first baseman. Please. Please. Do something to improve this team. I'm Cashman. I'm begging you. You're not watching this, but I'm begging you. Let me know what you guys think. Thank you guys for watching. We have channel memberships in the description if that interests you. This is Joe, and until next time, signing out. And let's not forget to thank our channel members here at The Shift. Thank you, guys. It means the world.